Hey guys. So today we are going to go over how body systems work together. We went over these individual body systems on Monday and now we're just putting that information together. Before we get into that, we're going to do our little review question. So what I want you to do is pause the video and try to answer this question on your own. So pause it now. All right, welcome back. So the first thing we always do is bracket the question is asking which of these is a likely outcome of a movement by young males. So the young males are talking about our baboons and they're taking a little trip into the neighboring troop. So if I imagine I have a group of baboons and they travel to a nearby troop, that might be a little bit different. All right. Every population or group has a gene pool or all of the genes that all of the organisms have combined. If this one baboon decides to travel or move over to another one, then this gene pool is now going to change because you're transferring some of the gene pool. When this happens, when one population moves into another one, we call that gene flow. That gene flow then results in the transferring of the gene pool. Therefore, my answer is F. All right, so below, now we're really gonna get into how body systems interact. So remember that there are 11 body systems that are right here. This one is pronounced integumentary, if you were wondering. That just involves the skin and forms a barrier. I'm gonna show you how I want you to annotate these types of questions, and then you're gonna get a lot of time to try them on your own. So let's get started. A signal that the urinary bladder is full is sent to the brain. So what I want you to look for are keywords that are giving away what the systems are. So the fact that I see urinary bladder, well, I know that urine comes out of the bladder, which is waste. I know the system that gets rid of waste is the excretory system. This also mentions the brain. I know that the nervous system encompasses the brain and spinal cord, or therefore I see brain, I think nervous. My two systems, according to my annotations, are excretory and nervous. Second, your body must have oxygen. Oxygen is part of the respiratory system. Right, oxygen is a gas, respiratory system is involved in the exchange of gases, respiratory system is just breathing, um, is distributed to the cells throughout the body. So anytime you see distributed, transported throughout the body, you're going to think circulatory system. So the circulatory system includes your heart and your heart pumps blood with all of, like anything that you would need to the rest of your body. So blood contains oxygen, immune cells, nutrients, whatever you need. Anytime you see distributed throughout the body, think circulatory. My two systems are respiratory and circulatory. I'm just gonna show you how I want you to annotate these multiple choice questions. All right, so the blood in your body carries oxygen, which two systems are primarily involved in this. So oxygen, remember, is a gas and respiratory system is involved in the exchange of gases. Blood in your body, well blood I always associate with the circulatory system. Therefore, respiratory circulatory, my answer is B, this matches. Check. All right, number two, your body is able to stand upright because of two systems, which ones are they? Well, in order to stand up straight, right, I need some type of support the system that's in charge of support is the skeletal system. So those are your bones. And then be, to be able to stand, right, that's a movement. The system in charge, of, in charge of movement is your muscular system. So anytime you see anything about movement, you should think muscular. Therefore, my two systems are muscular and skeletal. So therefore, my answer is A, this matches. What you are doing for the rest of the period is answering the questions in the rest of the packet. There are quite a few, so you really need to be productive. These are for a grade. You're going to get them checked and signed by me at the end here. All right, get started and have fun, and congratulations being done with your English one-star exam.